Thank you for coming. My name is Coach Kyle. I am Klinkit of the Luka Hari clan or the Raven Sakai Salmon clan. I live in Juneau, Alaska, and today I'm excited to share with you Native Games. The Native Youth Olympics is a fun sport based on survival and hunting skills needed to live a healthy and fit life. These games were originally created by the Nupak people up north in the Arctic. However, today we play the games in schools across Alaska, Canada, and Greenland. The origins of the games go back hundreds of years. Long ago and still today, people hunt and gather from the land and sea. These games were played by hunters during the long winter to keep healthy and fit. This allowed the hunters to be successful in the hunt, travel long distances, and carry heavy loads. Today we play the games for the same reason, to be healthy, celebrate our culture, and come together to support one another. Before we play the games, let's warm up. Warming up is important to prevent injuries and to make sure we can perform at our best. When I'm coaching my team, we start with a run. And then after that, we'll get into some skips, bear crawl, crab walk, karaoke, high knees, butt kicks, lunges, jumping jacks, and many more. Who said warming up can't be fun? You could try along too if you'd like. Coach Kyle, tell us about the hunter. Once upon a time, there was a hunter. And as a hunter, you have to be agile and carefully navigate rugged terrain. In the Arctic, the Inupiaq people navigated ice and tundra. But here in Southeast Alaska, this hunter jumped over streams, logs, and difficult rainforest terrain. Our NYO game that pays tribute to this agility is called the Scissor Broad Jump. With the Scissor Broad Jump, your goal is to go as far as you can in just four steps. Let's slow it down a little. One, two, three, and four. Wow, impressive. These moves are challenging, so a lot of practice is important. Try practicing one step at a time. Start with your feet together behind a line. Jump off both feet and land on one. Next, wrap your other foot behind your jumping leg and land on that back foot. Tricky, I know. Then jump forward and land on one foot. And for your final step, jump forward and land on both feet. Once you land, be sure to stay still so we can measure how far you jumped. When you're comfortable with each step, try putting them together. Eventually, you'll get to a point where you can start adding distance. Coach Kyle, let's get back to the story. After many hours, the hunter finally spotted a deer. The hunter positioned himself tactfully and quietly raised his bow, and the hunt came to an end. Animals are large and awkward to lift, pull and carry. It was important to stay healthy and strong leading up to the hunt. The work was intense, so the hunter used their strength to lift the deer from the ground. This move is the inspiration behind the NYO game, the Inuit Stick Pull. I'll take it from here, Coach Kyle. For the Inuit Stick Pull, two athletes sit facing each other with the soles of their feet together and legs bent at a 90 degree angle. Both athletes position their hands on the stick, one with their hands in the middle and the other on the outside. Then the stick is centered above the athlete's toes. The official makes sure the stick is in the center, then with the signal marks the start of the competition. The goal is to pull the stick from your opponent or lift them off the floor. The game is played best two out of three matches. So once again, the players line up for their second match. Ready? In the second match, the players oh. switch hand positions. In the tiebreaker round, players flip a coin or play rock, paper, scissors to determine hand placement. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, the players position themselves for their final match. Perfect. Ready? Pull! A congratulations can be given to the winner. 
Hot age. <laughs> Let's talk about a few things that players cannot do during this competition. For starters, players cannot jerk the stick, and if their hands start to slip, players cannot reposition their hands oh. or twist their bodies. Give it a try with a friend. But for now, let's jump back to the story. Having successfully completed the hunt, the hunter needed to notify the village of his success. The hunter walked to a clearing where he could see his village and would do the high kick to signal his success. We compete in the one foot high kick at the Native Youth Olympics to celebrate those efforts. Start with the ball, low to the ground. Position yourself, arms length away from the string. Jump off both feet, kick the ball with one foot, then land on the same foot that you kicked with. Make sure you keep your balance when you land. Hopping around is okay, but try not to drop that second foot to the ground when you land. If you fall over while you're practicing, get back up and try again. Each time you successfully kick the ball, raise it just a few inches and reposition yourself for another kick. Some athletes add a step or two to their approach to add momentum to their jump. Try not to get discouraged if you don't get this right away. You'll get the hang of it. Thanks, Coach Kyle, for telling us about the hunter. My favorite part about Native Games is sportsmanship. Sportsmanship is about supporting and teaching others. Our hunters and communities work together to be successful. When everyone cheers, gives advice, and teaches one another, we all become better people. The Native Youth Olympics is all about continuing these stories, showing these moves, and appreciating their origins. Today you learned about the hunter and everything he had to do while navigating the wilderness. The scissor broad jump, the Inuit stick pull, and the one foot high kick. Now that I've walked you through these three moves, let's take some time to practice them. It's okay if you get frustrated. Try to set goals for yourself. Make sure they're realistic and achievable. You're doing great things already, just by listening and learning. I challenge you to practice these moves and share with your brother, sister, or a friend. You can be part of sharing this story, and maybe one day I'll see you at the Native Youth Olympics. Gonna sheesh, Coach Kyle.